Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to see love and the general for the sign of Aquarius from now till the end of September 2022. So watch this video if you are an Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus or if you are dealing with one. Keep in mind these are general readings so it may or may not resonate. If it do not resonate, do not try to deliberately fit in. Check in any other placement. If you want to have a personal reading, link is in the description. If you want to follow my Instagram, the link is in the description. So let us see message for Aquarius. Hold on a second. Let me put my phone on silent so that we do not get disturbed. All right. So let's see message for Aquarius. So what do Aquarius need to know, please? So we have nothing is yet set in stone. And then we have a personal issue reaches resolution. Take time to breathe out at the bottom of the deck. So looks like there is something that you have been stressing out on a lot, all right? And the cards here are telling you that there is nothing yet set in stone and you have an opportunity to make a change, you know, and possibly turn the situation in your favor as well. So do not try to uh, overburden yourself with something that is yet to happen in the future, all right? So you always have a free will no matter what's written in the future and you can always turn it around. So that is what this card here is telling and also with the, a personal issue reaches resolution. Uh, if there is something on your mind which has been burdening you and it's like something has been keeping you very stagnant, I see that finally you will be able to see uh, light at the end of the tunnel and you will be able to find solution to something which has been keeping you awake or which has been bothering you for all this while, alright? So I see that you are basically going to transit towards uh, um, peace of mind. Yeah, take time to breathe out also says the same thing, right? Some of you, you really need to like stop stressing on something which is yet to happen. It's like it's not even as worse as you have already assumed, presumed, <laughs> and you are worrying about it like day and night. You need to stop doing that. All right, let's see your tarot messages for my Aquarius. Give me the present energy for Aquarius. Yeah, see the chariot card. This is exactly the energy of taking back control. Um, I see that recently whatever happened in your life, we will see what happened, all right, once we pick your uh, recent past. But I see whatever happened in your life, it has kind of scattered your life a bit. And uh, right now, as we speak, you feel it very difficult to take back control, you know. And this is something that you need to do. Some of you, you have also been overwhelming yourself. That is why we got this card of take time to breathe out. So it's like you are suffocating yourself, you're choking yourself to death. <laughs> you need to stop doing that and you need to take back control of your life one day at a time nobody gets to uh you know like set their life in order in one day it's a process it's a gradual process so you need to be patient with yourself all right and i see i definitely definitely see that something that has been bothering you a lot is gonna finally reach to its conclusion and you will be able to take back control of your life but again for all of this you need to be more logical more rational than emotional because right now you might be a little emotional emotionally all over the place all right yeah okay what else so stop overthinking basically yeah queen of cups i see that there is something which you do not even see coming but it's coming in uh and for this you have to walk away from something which has not been serving you so i see that recently you might have uh reevaluated life you know and you might have like basically come to a conclusion as to what is serving you and what's not serving you and what you need to do and what you need to like let go of you know some of you i also see that um, there was something which constantly kept telling you your own intuition or signs around you or literally your best friend you know that you deserve better and you have been selling yourself short but you kept on ignoring your feelings and your emotions and what you felt because you wanted to be this goody goody person you did not want to come across as somebody who has their boundaries you know and then what happened it backfired you so i see that your nature of overgiving bending over backwards kind of backfired you and now you are like again reevaluating, and you're like i must have walked away and now you're like planning that you should walk away from situations people career or whatever anything that's not serving you you need to walk away you are like having that harsh um realization right now all right some of you may also see that there was a lot of miscommunication uh with people around you might have said something people might have interpreted it differently and People started blaming you for something. Some of you, it was a workplace drama, it was a family situation. So I see that it's like a lot of people ganging up against you and people trying to like pull you down. So that might have happened recently. But I see the good thing is that 
you are still trying to balance your life and you're trying to get back on track and i see that you will be able to in the coming two weeks or so all right so that is that what else three of pentacles yeah and i see that all of this is gonna happen with the um, with some sort of cooperation if you have been looking for a job opportunity or work or you are working on a project then this is the time to collaborate with like-minded people and it's going to bring an expansion in your life like do not try to do things single-handedly obviously when we are pulled by people around us we stop trusting but as much as there are assholes in this world there are good people also so you need to find right like-minded people who you can collaborate with and i see this is going to bring in a lot of expansion in your workplace and and whatever you're working upon basically you know what happened in the recent past for aquarius please what happened in the recent past for aquarius so we have the ace of cups with the knight of wands so there was a lot of love that you had for somebody you were kind of overpouring in this person with the knight of wands i see that however this person was very immature and very in and out so somebody uh, was very casually seeing you however you uh, were having your emotions invested in this person yeah see i was picking this up some of you i also see that this was a sex only situation you might have thought that this person would fall for you but this person was there only for sex devil card for others of you it, if it was not a sex only situation then possibly this person was playing mind games you know like they had a habit of playing mind games you know knight of wands knight of wands is a very uh, unstable energy it does not talk about commitments however ace of cups is a very emotional energy and it talks about commitment so you see how you both were polar apart and that kind of caused a rift between both of you what is aquarius's present feelings regarding the situation three of cups looks like you are trying to pull yourself out of all this and you're trying to again you know as i said you're trying to gain control back of your life you're trying to socialize with other people you're trying to mingle with other people i see a lot of your focus is to basically expand your network circle and meet with like minded people some of you i also see that you will either be reconnecting with old friends or you will be partying somewhere you know with like like minded people and it's going to bring in a lot of um, happiness to you so try to go out and meet people you know don't try to confine yourself just because you came across some weird people in your past you know not everybody's same okay what else five of cups yeah see you are betrayed i see there's some sort of betrayal here you trusted somebody more than your life and you were betrayed aquarius and now you have a hard time looking at the positive things in your life some of you might have also lost somebody physically or emotionally you've lost touch and it it bothers you as much as you try to tell yourself that no i'm over this and i i am moving on i'm healing and all of that but it still bothers you is what i see you might have also felt very one sided in a connection where you kept giving in and this person kept taking you for granted you know what is this person's feelings towards aquarius right now as we speak the person on aquarius's mind so we have king of cups this person has emotions for you but again i keep seeing that this person is also somebody who tries to keep their options open you are dealing with the player here i'm being very very honest and straightforward king of cups with the 10 of wands definitely shows somebody who uh, made you bend over backwards and uh, this person kind of took you for granted like they enjoyed seeing you bend over backwards over them this person might still be um, keeping an eye on you but this person is still still an asshole basically queen of wands you might be going through some sort of glow up period in your life or you're just trying to get back on track and i see somebody notices that about you if you think this person has like gone out of your life and they're just minding their own business that's not true they still look at you as a queen of cups but then the only problem with this person is that they have this non committal behavior attached to them which causes all this problem you know this person's next action towards aquarius seven of swords i'm telling you see i see this person might try to come back but this person is still very very unavailable very um cheater like somebody who will not confront will try to run away so that kind of a person the best thing that you can do is not to focus on this close the cycle and move to something else something much better aquarius and maybe that is what we were seeing here you know it's like you are finally realizing that this person in the situation is not worth your time and you need to move on 
a personal re issue reaches resolution. So I see that if you have been confused, some of you this person might have ghosted you and you're confused as to what this person thinks about you and all of that, you will get your clarity and because of that you will be able to move forward in your life unstucking yourself. Yes, it is going to be tough emotionally, of course, but it's going to be very rewarding in the long run because you don't see that once you unstuck yourself from here, you're moving towards commitment. Like the kind of person that you want who you can have a long term commitment with is not a person who play mind games. And I see once you get rid of all this chaos, you are walking towards a commitment. Some of you, the next person that's coming in your life could be a Taurus, could be a fire sign for some of you. Yeah, six of ones. And I also see a lot of growth and healing happening in your personal life as well. Some of you, you will be recognized. Your boss might actually praise you in front of other employees and there could be a promotion up. King of ones. There are like a lot of kings and queens here. So I, I definitely, and, and just see, King, King of Wands, Queen of Wands, and then King of Cups and Queen of Cups. So I definitely see you manifesting a divine counterpart energy, but for that you need to let go of this toxic person who play mind games with you out of your life. Like, fucking show them the door. And then it's gonna happen. Alright? What else? Seven of Cups. See? Anybody who brings in confusion, anybody who tries to keep you as an option, Anybody who tries to make you insecure needs to go. You are a fucking adult. You don't have time to waste. If somebody is not sure about you and they have other options, reduce yourself as an option from the situation. What is the advice for Aquarius moving on? Page of one. See, focus on the new things. I see that there could be somebody around you who might have developed interest in you could be a fire sign could be any sign doesn't really matter what is sign for some of you i see that there's somebody around you who could be possibly younger to you or they look very young and i see this person has their interest in you they have you have sparked some sort of interest in them uh, and it's it's a good connection but the problem is that because you have been hurt and cheated and betrayed so much in your past you might not pay attention and you might actually miss on it so you need to focus on the new beginnings and uh, new connections rather than going back to the same cheater if somebody has not done you good in the past they are not going to do you good in the future you know so i see that you are manifesting or you're hoping for a new beginning and a new beginning is on the horizon but for that you need to also release yeah strength card you need to stand your ground like you really need to stand your ground and if you do it i see that you're stepping into this this empress energy but for that you first have to face this destruction that's coming in and this destruction is basically letting go of things that do not serve you, you know. It may feel like destruction, but it's actually reorientation, you know. It's not destruction in reality. So let's see message for Aquarius, please. Message for Aquarius. Pay attention to the red flag, yeah. Your past person is full of shit. Uh, you need to pay attention to that shit that they still bring onto the table for you. You need to let them go. Very soon, what very soon? Very soon, let your friends help you in wedding. Yeah, see, I see that if you let go of this past toxic person and you pay attention to the red flag and you do not try to paint the red flags pink, then very soon you will be bumping into someone who would be much better, you know, and it could possibly lead to a commitment as well. And we also have the card of let your friends help you. Some of you, this person uh, might be a friend of yours or maybe this person will meet you through a friend of yours. So your friend might actually set you up with this person or you may already be friends and now you're transiting towards a relationship. But for that, let go of this toxic past person. Do yourself a favor. Don't date an asshole. Give me a message for Aquarius, please. You are my twin flame. Yeah, I'm telling you. You are manifesting a divine counterpart energy. You make me weak in the knees. There is somebody who's like drooling over you. I'm sorry for being selfish. And your past person, I, I, I'm I, telling you. Your past person, if you think they, they are over you they don't miss you and all of that that's not true because somebody like keeps looking at your picture they keep going back to the same conversations that you had they might be feeling apologetic about whatever they did to you because they were selfish to you but i see that you have so much to look forward to if you keep yourself open do you miss me yeah there is your past person thinks that you're missing them uh, they question whether you miss them or not you know so you can decide if you want to move forward or you want to go back to this past person so yeah, that was the reading. Hope this helps and resonate. If it does, make sure you subscribe, like, share, comment. I will see you very soon in the next video. You guys take care. Stay safe. Bye.